morning my dear students as we all know about the present situation of covid-19 arising in the whole world we all have been locked down at our home so i decided to start your first virtual english literature class of class 6 so here we go our first chapter is wolves in the family written by ruskin bond before we proceed to the chapter let's have some knowledge about the author who has written this story Ruskin Bond is an Indian author of British descent born on 19 May 1934. The Indian Council for Child Education has recognized his role in the growth of children's literature in India. He was awarded the Sahitya Academy Award in 1992 for the novel Our Trees Still Grow in Dehra. He was awarded the Padma Shri in 1999 and the Padma Bhushan in 2014. Let us start the chapter. One morning, we found a fully-fledged baby spotted alert on the ground by the veranda steps. When grandfather picked it up, it hissed and clacked its bill. But after a meal of raw meat and water, settled down for the day under my bed. One morning, an author and his family found a fully-fledged baby of all on the ground near the veranda steps. When the author's grandfather picked it up, the alert hissed and clacked. After some time, the alert has been offered with a meal of raw meat and water. And after taking his meal, he settled down for the whole day under the author's bed. Let us go to second para. The spotted alert, even when full grown, is only the size of a manna and has none of the sinister appearance of the larger owls. pair of them may often be found in an old mango or turmeric tree and by tapping on the tree trunk you may be able to persuade the bird to show an inquiring face at the entrance to its hole the bird is not normally afraid of man nor is it strictly a night bird but it prefers to stay at home during the day as it is sometimes attacked by other birds who consider all owls as their enemies Now when the alert starts growing fully it takes the size of a manna here manna is one type of bird that can talk similar to human being but the appearance of manna is not dangerous as compared to larger owls the pair of manna can be found in an old mango or turmeric tree and by tapping on the tree trunk we may be able to convince the bird to show an questioning face at the entrance to its hole however the bird is not normally afraid of men but it prefers to stay at home during the day because they might be in fear of attacking by other birds like owls proceed to third para have a look the little owlet was quite happy under my bed the following day a second owlet was found in almost the same place on the veranda and only then did we realize that where the rainwater pipe emerged through the roof There was a rough sort of nest from which the birds had fallen. We took the sand young wolf to join the first and fed them both. When I went to the bed, they were on the left just inside the mosquito netting and later in the night their mother found them there. From outside, she crooned and gurgled for a long time and in the morning I found them that she had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the mosquito net obviously she placed no reliance on me as a foster parent now the owlet which was quite happy under the author's bed next day the author's found almost the same owlet on the veranda so he took the second young owl to join the first and fed both of them when the author went to the bed two owls were on the shelf just inside the net after few hours the owl's mother crooned and gurgled from outside for a long time next morning the author found that the owl's mother had left a mouse with its tail tucked through the mosquito net moving to fourth para have a look the young birds thrived and 10 days later at dawn grandfather and i took them into the garden to release them i had placed one on a branch of the mango tree and was stooping to pick up the other when i received quite a heavy blow on the back of my head a 
a second or two later, the mother owl swooped at grandfather, but he was agile enough to duck out of its way. Quickly, I placed the second owl under the mango tree. Then, from a safe distance, we watched the mother fly down and led her offspring into the long grass at the edge of the garden. So, what happened after 10 days? The author and his grandfather took them to the garden to release them and placed them on a branch of a mango tree. Suddenly, the author received a heavy blow on the back of his head. However, grandfather too was soaked by mother wall, but he was able to move quickly and easily out of its way. Then, from a safe distance, the author and his grandfather was watching how the mother wall led her child into the long grass at the edge of the garden. Let's move to the fifth para. We thought she would take her family away from a rather strange household, but next morning on coming out of my room, I found two young wolves standing on the wall just outside the door. I ran to tell grandfather and when we came back, we found the mother sitting on the bird bath 10 years away. She was evidently feeling sorry for her behavior the previous day because she greeted us with a soft woo-woo. So the author and his grandfather thought that she would take her family away from their rather strange household. But next morning on coming out of their room, the author found two young wolves standing on the wall just outside the door. He then to tell grandfather and when they came back, they found the mother sitting on the bar but 10 years away. She was evidently feeling sorry for her behavior the previous day because she greeted them with a soft woo-woo. Now we will move forward to sixth para. Now there's an unselfish mother for you, said grandfather. It's obvious she liked to them to have a good home and they are probably getting a bit too big for her to manage. So the two wallets become regular members of our household and strangely enough were among the few pets that grandfather took a liking to. She objected to all snakes, most monkeys and some crows but she took quite a fancy to the owls and frequently fed them on spaghetti. Now what is spaghetti? Spaghetti is another word for noodles. It comes from the Italian word spago which means string. Now we'll back to our paragraph. So they seemed quite fond of spaghetti. In fact, the wolves became so attached to grandmother that they began to show affection towards anyone in petticoat, including Aunt Mabel, who was terrified of them. She would run shrieking from the room every time one of the birds sidled up to her in a friendly manner. Forgetful of the fact that grandfather and the author reared them, the wolves would sometimes swell their feathers and snap at anyone in trousers. To avoid displeasing them, grandfather wore a petticoat at feeding time and he compromised by wearing an apron. Let us proceed to seventh para. In response to grandmother's voice, the owlets would make sounds as gentle and soothing as the purring of a cat. But when wild wolves were around, ours would rend the night and blood curling shrieks. Their nightly occupation was catching beetles which the kitchen quarters were full of at the time. With their sharp eyes and powerful beaks, they were excellent pest destroyers. Proceed to para number 8. Have a